Hi again and welcome to the Accounting Web Sofa where we're really pleased to welcome a long-standing friend of Accounting Web and a pioneering podcaster and current president of the IoT, Anne Fairpo, who's at Accountex to do a talk on uh, IP taxation. So, what's the mess? What is what is new and exciting in IP taxation, Anne? And what will you be telling people here? Um, what's new? What isn't new and exciting in IP taxation? It's the uh, the tax of the moment. Let's face it. I mean, I've been dealing with IP tax for 20 years, and it suddenly became fashionable three years ago. I'm still sort of head spinning. But no, today, um, round up on the patent box. I know it's been in the press a lot, but there's still a lot people need to know about it, including the fact it's not quite as much of a giveaway as it might sometimes be you know, portrayed, um, certainly by the popular press, and a quick catch up on R&D tax credits and particularly the R&D expenditure credit that was introduced last year. And will they pose really serious complications and, and cause trouble for advisors and, and companies, or, or is it just fairly straightforward once you get your head around the actual qualification? Uh, R&D continues, I think, to be the more complicated of the two reliefs because of the difficulty of actually determining what is R&D and also the fact that far too many people think it's just people in white coats. Uh, actually, what qualifies as research and development can be much wider than that. Uh, and the real issue for advisors is, as it always has been, um, just making sure you're actually advising clients when they might be uh, eligible for this. They should explore it, not just ignore it. Well, thanks very much for coming along, Anne. Uh, break a leg and have a have a great account. Thank you very much. Thanks.